Hi, my name's Josh. On my main channel, I sing and play a lot of guitar, and I do a lot of that recording into a small handheld microphone. I get more questions about the microphone that I use and how I use it than any other aspect of my channel. So today, I want to take a minute to talk about how I get the sound and how you can get the most out of your microphone, whether it's the model that I have, a Zoom H2, or any other model. So there are three components to getting the most out of your portable recorder, no matter what brand it is or how much you paid for it. The first component is having the optimal settings for your recording situation. The second component is mic placement, and that one I cannot overvalue. And the third one is post-production, or what you do with the file after it's been recorded. So feel free to click on any of those buttons and jump ahead if you'd like to. Otherwise, let's dive in. So this is the device that I use in many of my videos. The Zoom H2. This device is seven or eight years old now. It's hardly cutting edge. Um, it runs on two AA batteries and it takes an SD card. The slot cover has fallen off there over the years, uh, but it still works for me really, really well. Uh, there are fancier models out there from this company and there are also many other companies that make similar products. I'm, I'm just going to base uh, the settings portion of this video on the settings that are available on this because if they were available eight years ago, then they're almost certainly available on any recorder that you would buy today. So even though I'm calling this a microphone, and many people who ask about it refer to it as a microphone, it's actually an array of four microphone capsules inside this mesh grill. There's two on the front that are arranged in an XY configuration, and then there's two on the back that are arranged in something more like an ORTF configuration, um, which is to say a, a, wider, a wider stereo image. And um, you can combine either just the front stereo just the back stereo or all four microphones uh, using these these buttons right here and uh, almost any handheld mic that you would buy today can at least do stereo but many can also do one or multiple kinds of surround sound so probably the first step of any recording that you would want to do is choosing your mic configuration for the vast majority of the recordings that I make for my YouTube channel, I use the front 90 configuration. We're not using any of the back microphone capsules at all. We're just using the two that are on the front. I find that this has a really warm, natural, and balanced sound most of the time. Uh, that y y Even if you're trying to record a lot of people with it, it still seems to have the, the nicest and most honest timbre. The next important component to recording really good quality sound is choosing the right file format. This device offers a huge number of file formats, uh, from really low quality MP3 all the way up to very high quality WAV files, uh, like 96, uh, 96 kilohertz, 24-bit WAV files. Generally speaking, choose the highest quality audio file that you can, uh, depending on how much stuff you're going to need to be recording. If you have a small memory card and, and you need to record an hour's worth of, of music, you know, at a, at a gig or something like that, then you're going to probably have to choose an MP3 file format, but otherwise go with the highest quality that you can. I usually record in either 16 or 24-bit wave, so that when I edit in Pro Tools, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't sound distorted or uh, messed with, it just sounds clean and clear. The next really important thing um, about recording is this little feature right here, and it's pretty primitive on my device, but this is the gain of the microphones that you need to set. I have a three-way selector. You can see it there, low, medium, and high mic gain. But that basically says you know, how sensitive you want the microphones to be uh, when you're recording. And I usually have it on medium or high mic gain unless I'm doing something very loud. You, you really you want the, the gain of the microphones to be as high as possible uh, without reaching the little peak meters at the end there, without doing, having any digital distortion in there. Uh, because if it's too quiet, uh, if you have it on the low mic gain setting and you are recording finger-picked acoustic guitar, when you boost the volume to put it into a video, it might sound really hissy. There might be a lot of just noise. And so uh, having the gain set as high as you can without clipping is, uh, is the way that you can avoid that. Those are the essentials for how to set your portable recorder so that you can get the uh, best possible sound out of it. In the next segment, you're going to be hearing the audio from the Zoom. I'm going to throw it on a tripod, and uh, then you'll get a very visceral sense of uh, how the placement affects the quality of the recording.